Stay with us, Lord, for it is almost evening. This was the insistent invitation that the two disciples journeying to Emmaus on the evening of that very first Easter addressed to their companion who had talked to them in a way that their hearts were on fire. Weighed down with sadness, they never imagined that this stranger was none other than their master, risen from the dead. There, on the way, the unknown companion had explained the scriptures and shed light into the darkness that clouded their spirit. Stay with us, they pleaded. And he agreed. Soon afterwards, Jesus' face would disappear, yet the Master would stay with them, hidden in the breaking of the bread, which had opened their eyes to recognize him. Amid our questions and difficulties, and even our bitter disappointments, the Divine Companion continues to walk at our side, opening us the scriptures, and leading us to a deeper understanding of the mysteries of God. And He continues to break bread for us every time we celebrate the Eucharist, as we do right now, even virtually. When we begin to think, we, we realize that the gospel we just heard in our story, it is our, us on the road of our life on our journey of faith. Our faith tells us that Jesus is risen and with us. But so often, we do not recognize Him, especially when disappointments cloud our minds and hearts. We are often like the two disciples on the road to Emmaus, confused and preoccupied with the bad things that happen to us in daily life. As the disciples thought the Lord was dead, even though some women had told them that the tomb was empty, we often think we know better than the church teaches us that Jesus is alive and among us. It is beautiful to see how patient the Lord was with His two disciples, how patient He is with us when we doubt His presence in the midst of our problems and miseries, especially in the crisis that we are in to these days. Jesus knows how difficult it is to experience God's presence when disaster strikes, when a loved one dies of cancer or of an accident. We easily ask the question, where are you, God? Even though scripture and church tells us that Jesus is alive and Jesus is patient with us. Jesus on Thursday evening also cried out to God and asked for help. He also cried out on that Good Friday, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This reassures us that He knows how we feel at all times. And it takes us, just as it took the two disappointed disciples, and led them step by step to see the light, so he does to us. When the two disciples asked Jesus, stay with them, he responded by giving them a, a much greater gift to the sacrament of the Eucharist. He found a way to stay not only with them, but to stay in them. Receiving the Eucharist means entering a profound communion with the risen Lord. Abide in us. Abide in me and I in you. He had told his disciples. It is good to remember on this Easter day we celebrate during a Eucharistic day that one of the first thing the risen Lord did was to give himself in the broken bread to the two discouraged disciples to stay in them. In this crisis, most of the Catholics were unable to receive the sacraments of the Eucharist. 
but I was amazed by one of the remarks I received from a friend that it has never happened before that they were spoiled with so much scriptural reflections and spiritual readings. Nowadays, they don't watch news that often, but spend their time reading the scriptures and reflections and atten attending the virtual Mass. Easter, therefore, is not just about Easter bunnies and Easter eggs. The real joy of Easter should come from our personal encounter with the risen Lord, whom we know to be present in the Scriptures and in the Eucharist. And in the crisis that we are experiencing right now, we can encounter the risen Lord through the many other creative ways by reading scriptures, by reading reflections online, attending virtual mass, ringing someone who is living alone, and many other things. My daily prayer on this Easter season is that in our disappointments and discouragements, our problems and struggles, that we become more aware that we are not alone that the risen Lord is very much alive and powerful, that He travels with us on our often difficult road of life, that in the Eucharist, we offer Himself to stay not only with us, but in us. Yes, we call ourselves Easter people, for we are people who live in the presence of the risen Lord, who will never let us down. Like the two disciples, we go and share this good news and so be cyber missionaries, people who make others aware that the world is not an accident, that in spite of the tragedies and catastrophes, in spite of so many sufferings in the world and in our individual lives, that in spite of all of this, the risen Lord is present and takes care of us if only we open ourselves to His presence, if only we do not take Him for granted, if only we do our task, sharing the good news. After all, He has done for us and continues to do for us. Let us ask the Lord, Lord, stay with us. Amen. Amen.